Hi, this is Yunjing from YQ Traveling, and today we're talking about what is career break travel and the different types of career travel available. Today we're talking about career break travel. What is career break travel? A career break is a period of time where you stop working and you can do whatever you want. And for my channel in particular, I talk about career break travel, which is quitting a job to travel for a long term, but then you go back to the workforce. It is not about traveling for forever. Of course, during this period, you can decide to work or you can just keep on traveling. I have identified type of career break travel. Number one, quitting your job and focusing only on traveling. That was what I did when I quit my job to travel four years ago. I left my job and I decided to travel while not working. I know some of you might be anxious about not having income while traveling. Here's the thing though, if you have planned your finances, it is possible to do it. And there is a second type of career break travel, which is taking a sabbatical. A sabbatical is where you negotiate with your company to stop working for a while, but then come back to their job. This option is suitable for people who want stability after their career break. And of course, this is only for people who are high performing enough for your companies to be willing to give you a sabbatical. Some companies do give sabbaticals, so good for you if you're in one of those companies. And another type of career break travel is travel and study. I've known people who quit their jobs to study for a short term. So it's not a long term program like a four year university program, but maybe a three month, one year even program where you quit your job to study overseas most of the time. And another type of career break travel is work and travel. Countries like Australia and New Zealand have visas for young working adults below a certain age, I think it's about 30, to travel there to work. But of course you'll be working more manual intensive jobs, for example working in orchards or working in farms. It will really depend on how much stamina you have and how much you're willing to work while you quit your job to travel. And the final type of career break travel is you find little jobs while you're traveling. For this to work, you can either freelance while you're traveling, which means that you get jobs which doesn't require you to go into the office, or jobs that you can do on a computer while you're traveling. And of course, if you're very hardworking, you can get a bit of part-time job while you're traveling, for example, exchanging work for accommodation in hostels or even just bartending while you are traveling. So those are the different types of career break travel. Let me know in the comments which of the career break travel is of most interest to you. And of course, remember to subscribe to my channel to get more tips on how you can quit your job to travel. I'm Yun Ching from YQ Traveling. I'll see you next time. Bye! Career break... A career break is... Ugh so hard or even just 